Are home warranties worth the investment? I'm not really sure at this point. So about a year ago, a little over a year ago, we bought a house from an old couple, um, just the two of them. We decided it's, it'd be best to get a home warranty because we have eight kids. So a house that is not used to having a lot of wear and tear on it, we weren't sure how things held up. So we went ahead and we chose First American Home Warranty. They seem to have a good plan, good benefits, and so we bought it. And within the first month we had my well pump went out. Um, and that's a terrible experience having no water when you've got eight kids trying to flush the toilet. Uh, so I called that in and I was told I'd have a response within 24 hours. It may have been 48, but I'm pretty sure it was 24 hours. Either way, I called it in on a Friday and because it was a weekend and it wasn't business hours, um, it was 24 to 48 hours total. But because it was a weekend, I don't know, they never got back to me. I ended up having to call them and ask them, who are, gonna, who are you going to send out to me to get my well working? I need water. And the lady on the phone said that they didn't have any service contractors out here, so I could find my own. And I was approved to spend, I don't remember what she said, I think it was about $100 for a well pump. I um, had a friend recommend a good well guy and he came out and him and his son they had it replaced within two hours of getting here. It was great, had water again. But First American initially tried to decline paying the 800 some odd dollar bill which is way cheaper than a well pump replacement normally would have been and it was, it was about half the price of the replacement that I was quoted over the phone from another company. Now my policy says that they would pay, I don't remember, $1,200, 1500 $1,800 to replace a well pump. This was $800 and they tried to initially tell me that they wouldn't pay because I didn't get approval for the repair. He was just supposed to check it out and he was suppo supposed to call them. And because we didn't follow that procedure, I almost denied that payment. Thankfully, I grabbed enough and they finally paid it. But for a while there, was, I, I was worried that the extra money I paid to upgrade to have my well covered wasn't going to be covered because they fought it. They tried not to pay it. So. Oh, another reason I went ahead and bought this, my husband was about to deploy. And what happens when a spouse deploys? Everybody, everything breaks. You can count on it. It's the deployment curse. So then what happens? Uh, in April, my dishwasher stopped working. Um, well, it was, it was working and then all of a sudden water just started pouring out of it. Um, so I put in a service request, paid my $75, and the guy, the serviceman comes and he checks it out and he found several things wrong with it. He called First American up, First American Home Warranty up, and talked to them, and I watched him talk to them for a little bit, and when he got off the phone, he said that they told him they would probably pay to replace it because all the parts that it needed to fix it was probably going to cost more or almost the same amount as a replacement. But then he also told me that I needed to wait five to seven days and they'd get back to me. So I waited. But I'm busy. I have eight kids. I homeschool and I didn't have time to follow up with them. I, I figured good faith they'd get a hold of me and let me know what their decision was. And then come about a month later, we wake up in the morning and my refrigerator had stopped working. It wasn't cold enough. Uh, it, it looked like it had stopped working and it was trying um, to come back on and start cooling again. But it was enough that we had to take all of our food out of it 
and take it into the old refrigerator in our garage so that all of our food didn't get ruined. And shortly after we, we did that, I, I put in another service call. And when I got online to see my account, I saw that they had closed out my dishwasher. Nobody ever called me. Nobody decided they'd fix it or replace it. They just closed it out. So when I called the company, I asked them what happened. They said they never got the report from the service man, so they closed it out. They never asked me, and they didn't even care enough to make sure I was taken care of. Um, so then they told me they'd have to wait. They'd have to get the service repairman to send in the report before they could decide what to do. So about an hour or two later, I get notifications through the, the service company that parts were ordered. So I guess they decided they'd replace parts. They'd fix it and they weren't going to replace it, which is fine. I just need a, I have eight kids. I need a dishwasher that works. Um, and I started getting parts in. Well, re refrigerator repairman comes and when my refrigerator stopped working, the ice maker also started doing something weird where when you would open the freezer door, it would just make a grinding noise. So that when the repairman got here, he tested it. He couldn't really figure out what was wrong. He didn't get a code telling him what was wrong, but he figured it was probably the control panel. So he ordered a control panel and I had to wait another month before he came back to replace the control panel. So he comes back a month later to the day and he gets in there and he replaces the control panel and the ice maker was still making that horrible grinding sound when when you opened it up. It was also flashing a code. It was flashing this code. I don't know what it means. Um, he determined it was an ice maker code. So he called First American Home Warranty up, talked to them, and they told him, oh, well, we can't buy parts for the ice machine, just disconnect the ice maker from the door, from the refrigerator, so it doesn't make the grinding noise, and we're not going to cover it because if we can't get the parts for an ice maker, we're not going to repair it. And, and that is in my contract. I knew that, but I didn't call because of my ice maker I called because it stopped cooling I almost lost a bunch of food over it and I had kids going to dental appointments that day so I didn't bother telling him or asking him to see why it stopped cooling I needed him gone so I could take kids to the dentist but then I called later and I talked to Sears I think I don't know if it was Sears or if it was First American. I talked to somebody and I said, look, my problem's not the ice maker. My problem is it intermittently stops working and then it and then it decides to work again. So he come he comes back and he looks at it again and he can't quite get a code. He can't get an error code. And he actually told me that uh, they'll do they'll replace just about any part they can looking for the problem they're not gonna replace your refrigerator so when the website tells you they'll replace up to 35 something like that 30 something hundred dollars for a refrigerator um, chances are it's not gonna happen they'll they'll find any any loophole they can to keep from repairing it and um, so he kept looking for codes, couldn't find a code, and decided my compressor fan was had to be the problem. So he was going to order me a new compressor fan so that he could replace that, and he said, hopefully that fix your problem. Well, in the meantime, I, because they told him to disconnect my ice maker, I now no longer have any function which is around. So on here, I, I can't control anything anymore. I can't tell it to do water. Ice, granted the ice is cut off, but I can't control the temperature 
of the refrigerator. I can't turn the light on. I can't control the temperature of the freezer. It just flashes on and off. So now I'm out that capability and I'd really like to be able to make the freezer colder because we like ice cream. Let me show you what happens. I don't think my kids have gotten into the ice cream today, but yeah, we've got some ice cream in here. Let's see, there's one, two, look, you can even tell where it stops cooling and things start melting. So I get stuff like that and then it decides to work again. It starts freezing again. But the American Home Warranty said, since it doesn't affect its cooling feature, just disconnect it from, just disconnect the ice maker and we'll be fine. So look at this. It already looks. That's not what ice cream is supposed to do. Now, you usually get the ice cream out and it's so hard you need to let it defrost. This is what my ice cream does. But I wonder if they're gonna tell me that it doesn't affect whatever's wrong with it. It's not affecting my refrigeration or my freezing. Now maybe I could drop the temperature if they connected my door again, I don't know. But the uh, the repairman seems like they're pretty invested in making sure they don't cover a replacement. They'll do whatever they can to fix it. And I find it funny. They tell you they'll replace appliances up to $3,500 or something like that. But if you look on there, the amount that they fix are willing to spend on a, a an AC unit is like 1200 or 1500 you know why because they know they're much more likely to have to re replace an ac unit than a refrigerator or a dishwasher they know all the loopholes they know how to they know how to screw you and they're gonna and they're gonna do it um last week tuesday or wednesday my ac gave out so i had to put in an or order for that so we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm sure it's probably an easy fix. And I'm hoping that I'll get some AC in here. But last week, the, the house was 91 plus degrees inside the house. And the soonest they could get somebody out here to, to fix it is the fourth. So we ended up, <laughs> we actually ended up going to Lowe's or Home Depot. And we had to buy these little window units. Because I don't don't love being uncomfortable, but I also do. Again, I've got eight kids. I need to make sure that they're safe and they don't overheat. So I paid seventy five dollars for the service fee, and I've also paid three hundred fifty dollars just for that unit. A friend lent us another unit, so we've got two units going to keep our house at a safe temperature. So so far, I'm I'm not pleased with First American. I sent them an email today. I sent them two because they they had the gall one of the times I called them to complain about the service. Um, oh, about the refrigerator. When I went to go get my AC serviced, uh, I logged into the system and saw they actually closed my refrigerator account out like it had been fixed. And I'm supposed to have the refrigerator guy, the Sears technician, he's coming out on the 4th to replace the compressor fan. Um, but on their site, they closed it out. So they're obviously doing whatever they can to not take care of you. Um, so I got an email today telling me, I don't want to show this with my address. It says I'm reaching out regarding your refrigerator claim at, and it gives my address, with First American. We have searched for an in-network contractor to come out to service. Unfortunately, we were unsuccessful. 
The reason I am now reaching out is because we would like to provide you with the option of hiring your own outside contractor to provide services. Please see the details below. Let me get this where you can't see my address. And then they go on to tell me that they can have somebody come diagnose the problem with my refrigerator for $125. That's my limit. And if the repair can be completed for less than $300, then the outside contractor can move forward with the job and provide me with a paid uh, and provide her, the lady who sent me this email, with the paid invoice so we can reimburse for all covered items. Um, I live out in the middle of nowhere, by the way. I'm in a country, I'm on 40 acres, and Sears is about the only people that meet their qualifications that I know of. And Sears is who they sent out and who cannot figure out what's wrong with my refrigerator, but they're so desperate to find anything wrong, figure out the problem, even though he told me there was a short in the door causing causing the ice maker problem and I'm wondering if it's not causing more problems um, anyway they're giving me 10 days to get a contractor find a contractor to come and diagnose it and after that time my claims gonna be closed uh, and they put all these terms on me and I'm just trying to get my refrigerator working Nobody can figure it out, but they're doing everything they can to not pay to fix it right. I would have been fine if they had tried to fix it, but one of the times when they told the technician to just disconnect the ice maker from the door and everything's fine, that takes me off because that's not my problem. I mean, that was an inconvenience hearing it grinding all the time, but now it, it's, it's cold most of the time until it decides it's gonna stop working. And to send me a letter like this, uh, putting all these stipulations on me, just ticks me off. So that's first American home warranty. Is it worth it? They give you some pretty, pretty nice numbers to look at on the website when you're shopping. Um, so far, the pain, the, the headache, and how they maneuver to keep from actually helping you get your problems solved quickly so you can get back to your life, it's not worth it. Now hopefully, we'll see what they respond with my, uh, I sent them some emails too, one about my dishwasher, which is still not resolved, and one about my refrigerator. Uh, so I'm hoping to find out what they say. And, and I gave them, I went and I looked for the cheapest comparable replacement for my dishwasher and for my refrigerator. If they're going to make me wait months and months, and I believe I read in my contract I have, I have seven days, I have a right to seven days to um, have an answer once they have a repair person come out. I have a right to seven days to figure out what they're going to do. And they've been in breach of contract several times and now they send me something like this it's like have you ever played cards with a little kid and they want to play go fish with you or something else and you tell them okay set it up and I'll come play when you have it set up and they hurry up and they they shuffle the cards and they deal them out and they sneak a peek at their cards and when they don't like what they see they rearrange them I feel like this is exactly what First American is doing. They didn't like what the contractor that they sent out here is saying, so now they want me to go find a contractor, but I have all these stipulations and I don't have time. Again, I have eight kids. I homeschool. I don't have time to dicker with these people, uh, to give them whatever it is they need to make sure they're saving a buck. I just need a working refrigerator and a working dishwasher. So. I gave them the low side. It actually, uh, I found um, a comparable dishwasher and refrigerator. Same brand, same models, newer. Uh, the model of the refrigerator is not the same. It's just it's a stainless steel Samsung, side by side, has an ice maker. Uh, and I put in the parameters of the same cubic feet that it is. 
and there were only three that came up. Two of them were smaller than the last one and they were more expensive and I gave them the price for the least expensive so I'm I'm hoping they'll be reasonable when I gave them a lower price for both the dishwasher and the refrigerator to just replace it because if you're gonna make me wait months and months um, hoping I don't know if they're hoping that I'll just drop it and let it be so they won't have to pay I don't know so we'll see I sent like I said I sent the email and when I get an email back we'll see what happens and I'll I'll keep you updated.